Hi, this is a GoPro baseball cap um, and action camera cap uh, which you can able to mount an action camera to it. Now I have done a video where you can make one of these um, yourself and I'll leave a link up here uh, showing you how to do it. But this one is pre-done so you don't have to go through um, the ordeal of doing it. Um, you can just actually buy it as it is. Now I will show you how much it costs on eBay. And on eBay, it's roughly under four pounds, as you can see. And you can get them in various colors as well. And what you do is you get you get the, this cap, the mount, and the mount is stitched in. I'll bring it closer to the camera, as you can see, it is sewn in the mount. And on the other side, as you can see now, this hat is made by this company. I will show it, but it's hard to pronounce it. So as you can see, it's made by this company here. And it is machined washed, uh, sorry, hand washed. And one size fits all, and it's out of acrylic. I'll try and get that on the label. It's made out of acrylic. It has a Velcro fastener at the back as you can see uh, to adjust it to different head widths and when you do get it the peak is normally flat but if you're like me and tend to bend the peak I prefer the peak bend now I'll show you how it looks um, with the camera on now this is how it looks with the camera on now it fits a J buckle mount as you can see and that's how it looks with the camera. Now I'll show an outside picture of me outside um, wearing this cap to show you um, how it looks and also one footage um, with the, how you, uh, the perspective of what you get uh, when wearing the camera on top of your head now this is an I think with this cap um, it suits cameras with very good stabilization in them um, i.e. think cap, uh, cameras like um, the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Hero 6 the 5 not so good because the stabilization isn't too good on the 5 um, any of the Yi cameras which are the Yi lights uh, which have good stabilization and also the DJI Osmo Action it will suit that as well so providing that your action camera has very very good stabilization you can get some very um, smooth shots um, with this camera mounted so I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to show you how it looks on your head now this is me outside I am in my back garden and I am showing you this is how the camera looks on top of the cap attached to the cap now there is several ways uh, that you can place the camera obviously you can make your adjustments by tilting the camera forward releasing the screw here and tilting the camera forward to bring a more for um, more even shot to the horizon you ain't gonna get this dead straight to the horizon because you might have to adjust your cap a bit and obviously when you walk and it depends um, what country you're in uh, or the climate sorry within your country and um, what climate it is you could be sweaty and the camera could the hat could slip so just be aware that your shot ain't gonna be exactly uh, level it or it might have a slight tilt on it either way it all depends how it is on where you, how you're wearing the cap and how they tilt the cap so you might have to make fine adjustments um, that way so now I'm going to show you this is the way as, I, as you can see by having the J, muttle, J buckle down um, down with the curved bit down uh, you get a high point of the camera up on your on the cap so I'm going to turn it around to show you 
uh, another way of mounting it. Now, this is a, another way of mounting the camera um, on the cap and this time now the camera is upside down. Obviously you've got to make sure that in the settings you have the GoPro or any other action camera so that it flips the screen round when the camera is turned upside down otherwise you're just going to get an upside down shot of what you're recording. So as you can see this is the camera placed upside down. Now if I turn to the side J part of the buckle here, the curved part is now on top instead of the bottom, which now brings the camera down. But the only thing which you can see is the camera is slightly up at an angle, so you might have to tilt your cap forward a bit to get a level shot, otherwise, your camera um, shot will be slightly elevated. So that's how it is on the cap. So this is a more of a lower profile on this cap, as you can see. And obviously you can only bring the adjustment back of the camera as far back to the cap, as you can see. So this is another way of uh, wearing the camera to the cap so it would be like that now I'm going to show you um, a view of what it would look like when you're wearing it okay this is the camera on the cap with the J part facing down and this is the view that you get that you get with the J part facing up so now the camera is at a low profile on the hat Now I hope you like uh, the different views that you can get um, with this camera mounted to your cap. As I said, um, to get a nice steady shot it is recommended that you use uh, cameras like the DJI Osmo Action or the GoPro um, Hero 7 Black or the Hero 7 6. Um, and another camera is the Yi Lite. Um, or the E cams or, or the new SJ cam um, SJ9 I think it is which is going to come out which is going to have very good um, stabilization because the more stabilized um, the processing power of your camera the better the shot is going to be especially worn on your head um, you'll get that kind of smooth shot and not uh, too much of a, a bouncy shot um, than with other action cameras so I as you can see that's what this cap is good and as I said you can get them in various different colors so I'll try and leave a description or possibly a link because I've got to get used to leaving links on my description uh, where you can pick up this cap from on eBay I suggest you buy it from eBay rather than Amazon because Amazon will charge a bit more even though the postage is free but they're charging a lot more than what you would get on eBay for a cap like this so I'd give that a try. Okay so what I'm going to show you quickly because I know I'll probably get questions about this on the comment section um, first of all the mount now this is what they call a J buckle mount 
and if I just move the cap out of the way and as you can see a J buckle mount looks like that a regular mount has a this bit oh, that was mystery camera sorry a regular mount has um, this bit um, placed on here and that's just a normal flat mount this is a J buckle mount because as you can see it's a shape of a I'll turn it that way for much better it's the shape of a letter J so as I said it's designed so you can place the camera like that flush um, to the surface um, to the mount that you are putting it onto so as you can see it is flush to that surface there the other mount if you was to put the camera on there couldn't get that flush it will stick out at an angle so that's why you have a J mount so if you're going to wear that cap you need a J buckle mount like that so that's what you need um, in case you're asking about the frame uh, I've already done a, a um, I'll leave a link up here for the frame um, this is a hardcore frame um, that I bought and the reason why I bought this frame was one it's quite thick as you can see and two in case you drop the camera and two you can able to open the door the side door um, with this um, mount here so uh, with this frame so that's why I used this frame but you can use the standard GoPro uh, frame or the DJI Osmo action frame um, that will still work so this is my video on the GoPro um, baseball cap mount as I um, will say ba um, GoPro does not make this cap um, this is just a Chinese company that makes this cap which you can buy on eBay I'll try and leave uh, links in the description below or the type or the item number of the product so you can just use the item number in the search bar of eBay to find this um, product so please do me a favor please like please subscribe and leave a comment if you can thanks